Okay. We are hopping aboard the Rosenberg Railroad to check out its museum that's on a mission to preserve and educate the community about railroading in Fort Bend County. I can't wait to take my mom here. My grandfather was a conductor oh. on the Union Pacific Railroad. So Joe Sam is at the museum now getting a look at their new exhibit spotlighting the contributions women have made to railroading. Joe, this is so cool. It really is cool and it's really great being here because it has so much history in this place and so much great things that women have done with the railroading in industry and that's why we have the curator here Miss Cecilia to talk about all of those contributions that they've made. Thanks for having us here. Such a great place and we have some amazing stories that people can bring their entire family to come and check out. That's right. That's right. So we have the women in railroading and basically this exhibit explores women in the railroading industry. They've always been involved in it and so I really wanted to highlight certain women in the industry. So if we look back here, we have the Harvey girls and they really start with Fred Harvey, the Harvey company. And he was an entrepreneur. He was an immigrant. He was from England, but he had an eye, right? So mm -hmm. he thought anywhere where railroads stopped, he was like, why don't I create a chain yeah. of restaurants? And so he had these ladies called the Harvey girls and he was extremely strict with them. He was like, <laughs> you can't marry. You can't marry. <laughs> that was back in the day. They had and to then, sign a contract, I hear. That's right. They had to sign a contract. Um, they were paid $25 a month. It was um, advertised they wanted girls from 18 to 30 years old, um, no makeup, extremely, you know, well mannered and everything like that. And wow. so it was it was really great. So if you look at this picture back here, our museum is actually modeled after this, um, after the Union Depot, which burned down around 1917. Um, this is the Harvey House here in Rosenberg, Texas. It, do, it no longer exists. We're not really sure what happened to it. But this is a clearer picture. A, a lot of yeah. great stories that we have and a lot of pictures that you can actually see that takes you all the way back in time. The costume here, too, just to give you an example of how they actually look when we come back. We're going to have the executive director and Cecilia is going to stick around, too, to tell us a little bit more about some of the other stories and the other great women that you can see here that have made such great contributions to the railroading industry. Derek and Courtney, such an awesome place to bring your family and check out. All right, Joe. Enjoy it. We'll see you in just a bit. How's it going? Hey, Derek and Courtney, when we come back here, we're going to be checking out the Quebec, one of the amazing trains that they have to talk more about. All of the great things that you can come and discover here with your entire family at the Rosenberg Railroad Museum. Much more Houston Life in just two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Life. We are really feeling like a train conductor because we are aboard the Quebec right now here at the Rosenberg Railroad Museum. And I have the executive director with me, Rainey, to tell us about this amazing train. This is awesome. And it's modeled after the 19th century. Yes, Joe. Thank you for coming out. This is the Quebec. It's an 1879 rail car restored to its 1920s look when it mm -hmm. was acquired by the Canadian National Railway. We kind of want to walk through and show people how beautiful it is inside of here because this is exciting for the entire family. So let's go around and our photographer Paul is going to walk with us. It's a little tight corner. So we want to go ahead and tell people what we're about to see. So come on over here, here and just tell us what we're looking at as we go down here. So these rooms would have been the rooms where the passengers stay. This is a business class car. So this would have been the businessman's room where he would have traveled staying with his family. Yeah. And then there's some other great areas too. So you have all of these different areas where people stay with their families as they were coming down. But they had something to eat too because they get hungry and we want to come here inside the kitchen as well to show people how that looks as well because this is something that just takes you all the way back to the past. Absolutely. So every car, every train car would have had a steward on it. The steward would have been responsible for preparing the meals. As you can see in here, there's a kitchen, a sink. There would have been a stove. As we know from the coal chute right there, it would have been a coal burning stove. There is also a place where they would have loaded ice blocks from the top and stored them into the ice box, which would have kept the food. Yeah. And then we want to follow, come on all the way back down to the back, because what I want to talk about is how people can not only come and check out these amazing amazing structures that you have here, including the station, Station 17, but also the exhibit that we were talking about earlier and the contributions that women have made to the railroading industry. And Cor, tell us a little bit how they can do that and how long it's going to be lasting. Yes. So here at the Rosenberg Railroad Museum, our exhibition, Women in Railroading, will be here until we start our next one on November 10th. And our next one will be Presidents in Railroading. So it's going to be great. It will open on Veterans Day. We hope you come out and enjoy both. Um, Historic Tower 17 we have on the property. <laughs> 118 years old, we have women 
on our exhibit that had worked in that tower. So it's a lot of great information, inspiration for engineers, Absolutely. designers. So many people. Yes, so Ra many people. Rainy, thank you so much for all of that thank information. You. Courtney and Derek, so much beautiful things that you can come out here and see with your entire family. We're going to send things back to you. And when we do send things back to you, we want to send it to you on these beautiful stained glass windows that are also inside of Gorgeous. the Quebec. Back to you guys in the studio. It really is like going back in time. Joe, thanks so much for that. Yeah, they don't make trains like that anymore. Not. After the break, it looks